And now we welcome our special envoy, Jorge Gestoso, who is in Vienna with all the latest updates from the 8th OPEC International Seminar. A sustainable and inclusive energy transition for the future, that's the theme of this 8th seminar, international seminar from OPEC here in Vienna, the headquarters of OPEC, where the 23 members of OPEC, the 13 original members plus the 10 that is called the OPEC Plus, are trying to determine, define the future, shaping the future of the energy towards the next uh, decades. Mostly, they are concerned about to keep the instability out of this market and they want to precisely try to bring stability to a market that is not only regarding to oil and gas but in general terms trying to fix the um, prices of the oil in the range of 80 dollars a barrel uh, mostly uh, they're trying to make some reductions in the production as that is the case of uh, saudi arabia that has diminished their production this week of one million barrels a day same thing did russia another big uh, producer of oil with 150 50, 500,000 barrels a day. So in about uh, three or four countries, they're trying to slash 1.6 million dollars a day of barrels in order to keep the prices in that range of 80 dollars. Here are presents not only the members of OPEC, but also consumers, oil companies, uh, mostly the finance and the economic industry, people from NGOs regarding the environment and they're trying to see the future of gas and oil and the possible impact in the, in the increase of the temperature of the earth towards 2050. The, this seminar is going to take place today and tomorrow today's uh, range and mostly it's going to be a big, if you want, debate in between the ones that I want to keep the level of production that are really as of today that permits the countries of OPEP survive with this type of structure and countries from another part of the world or another interest in the world that they try to put the prices down in order to benefit themselves. We get back to you now.